It's been a bit of a long time coming, <laughs> but we got there. We're finally getting there. I know. We've done a couple of impromptus along the way, but it has been a few months. But um, it's been hard to, to find a free Saturday night. So we, uh, you know, we're thankful for a free Saturday night so we could do this for you. Although we were meant to be in Wilmington, Ohio. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, but that gig has been rescheduled to June of next year. So if you live anywhere near there... Go and get your tickets. We're playing at the Murphy Theatre there. We'd love and to see you. Well, you're welcome. The legendary David Spiker on the big bass. Yes, you all thought it was Dennis and he's grown a foot. But it's not. It's David. <laughs> yeah, we're so lucky to have David. Um, thank you, David, for joining us thank tonight. You. Stewie and David um, play uh, quite a few gigs together. We're very thankful for David and his wonderful wife, Wendy. Wendy Newcomer. Yeah, um, she's great a, singer. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful singer. And um, anyway, they welcomed Stewie into their their band. And uh, so when he's not with us, he's usually with Wendy. And yeah. uh, it's great. Down on Broadway, where it all happens. Well, Sonny's going to kick it off with a. You can talk about it. Yeah, I'm going to do a, a Beatles song, tune. It's from um, Rubber Soul. And I think that's a very good album. A lot of people think it's the greatest album ever, but I don't know, it's a, it is a very good album though. But uh, yeah, it's called In My Life. Is that going, Sonny? I'm just tuning up. There we go. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. There are places I remember all my life Though some have changed, some forever not for better Some have gone and some remain All these places have their moments But people and things that went before Some are dead and some are in my life, 
I love them all But of all these friends and lovers There is no one compares with you And these memories lose their meaning When I think of love as something new Though I know I'll never lose affection For people and things that went before I know I'll often stop and think about them In my life I loved you more All these places have their moments But people and things that went before I know I'll often stop and think about them In my life I loved you more In my life I loved you more Sonny's been going through a bit of a, a Beatles and Beach Boys phase, haven't you, Foo? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just want to say, the Beach Boys are underrated. There you go, he said it. <laughs> been said. <laughs> they are, they are very underrated. Everyone needs to listen to Pet Sounds and Smile. And yep, Surf's like, Up. Like we've had yeah. to the last month. Surf's up is insane. What do you think, Dave? You got a good old. We threw it all on you tonight. David got here a bit earlier and he copped the full force of the Beach Boys tonight. I like a boat. Yeah. Yes, there you go. What do you think of Tom T. Hall? He's one of my favourites too. Your dad would have played on some Tom T. Hall yes. records, wouldn't he? Yeah. David's father is a legendary Buddy Spiker fiddle player and he played on probably more. Probably more records than just about anyone between him and Johnny Gimble and um, on the fiddle and yeah, what's one of what's some of the classics um, like um, Devil Went Down to Do Georgia? He's play he plays on that. Really? Anybody going to San Antonio? You know anybody going to San Antonio? Or, uh, Amarillo by morning. Yeah. Amarillo by morning. Wow. Yeah, it's just. Some. Why didn't you bring him? <laughs> <laughs> he was watching westerns at home. <laughs> How many in your family? Like, is it just you and your brother? Or? No, I have uh, two sisters. Okay. They're uh, in real estate and stuff. Like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And did you all grow up around music? Uh, we were always around it, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. My, my dad was, he traveled a lot. You know, okay. I think my brother looks like the milkman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Very good. Well, we're going to do, as we said, Tom T. Hall. Um, we had a request yeah, for George this song. Sellers. George Sellers. Yeah, George. We've had a few requests for this song, and um, Tom T. Hall, I've actually played quite a few gigs with his brother, M.T. <laughs> M.T. Hall. Done a lot of gigs in empty halls. So oh, here we go. Got it? What, Fufu? <laughs> joke. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Normally we have a drama for that and go choom choom. Anyway. One, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> They said for the last few weeks that he suffered and cried It made a big impression on me Although I was a barefoot kid They said he got religion at the end And I'm glad that he did 
Waiting was the best guitar picker in our town I thought he was a hero and I used to follow Clayton around I often wondered why Clayton He seemed so good to me Never took his guitar and made it down in Tennessee Pick it, Sonny Daddy said he drank a lot, but I could never understand They say he used to pick up in Ohio with a five-piece band He died, I made a promise that I was gonna carry on somehow I'd give a hundred dollars if he could only see me now Here we go Yeah, I remember the the Clayton Delaney died Nobody ever knew it But I went out in the woods and I cried It made a big impression on me Although I was a barefoot kid He said he got religion at the end And I'm glad that he did Yeah, I remember the year the Clayton Delaney died. Thank you. Yeah. I was reading the comments here and it said there's too much echo and it flustered me. I forgot the words. <laughs> well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't look at that. That's but I fixed your first mistake. I think I fixed the echo problem. So let me know, okay. everyone. Let me know. Yeah. It's tricky sometimes because you're trying to focus on the song, but then you see a comment come up and then. Yeah. Yeah. You get a bit muddled up sometimes. And I got a sore arm. My arm's killing me. So oh I'm yeah. Did you so. hear the news? Yeah. Poor Stewie. Yeah, they know. No, not everybody knows. He's got a. He's hurt his um, bicep. He's tore his bicep tendon. Yeah, he's no longer Stewie. What is he's he? Not the one-armed bandit. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one-armed bandit for a bit there. No, it's actually getting better now. Three weeks I had it. Ago, I had it reconnected so I can. And he would just sit play. on the couch, just doing this, no right hand, just. Yeah, that's right. And turn his guitar up, so just be like. And I'd give orders. That's all I did. <laughs> sat on the couch, watched movies, gave orders. He did. Point. You had a, you had a good hand. You had I had one good hand. Yeah. That's it. That. And he got out of carrying gear mm. for the first time in his life. Mm. But anyway, he's he's uh, on the mend. Yeah, I'm back. But he's got to stop doing some jobs in the future. You know when you're a, like a hands-on kind of person? Well, when you're a... David's the a, same. I know. Well, I was talking to David about it before, but when you're a musician, and you, you need your hands. So you've got to be careful, right? Yes. 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 Saws are dangerous, kids. Yes, very dangerous. All right. I tell him a joke, can I, while I'm sitting there? Please. They're all busting for them. There's a, lots of comments about your jokes already. Well, asked, What's your joke? There was a few requests for a dad joke, so I want to tell the one about this guy back in Tassie. Years ago, he was working in a sawmill and he cut, he cut all his fingers off on the spinning thing. They all just fell on the ground, all his fingers. Anyway, they raced him off to hospital. And the doctor said, well, it's, they're clean cuts. We can stitch them back on. Where's your fingers? He said, I couldn't pick them up. <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> Oh, you're good, David. Yeah. You're a good friend, that's what you are. <laughs> All right, Stewie, I think we're going to do... I want to stay on this bad boy. Yeah, go on. Okay. You wrote this song. We wrote this song a while back, and uh, we dug it back out during the week because we thought we've got to put an original in there, so here we go. Are we in B? B, uh, B yeah. Okay. Tunes, right? Yeah. I don't want to start and you're still tuning. Mm -hmm. 
we've got our air conditioner going and it's hot and so guitars don't like that so be patient with us I wonder did you notice I've gone maybe you didn't see that the best part of me had long ago moved on did you call my name when you noticed something wrong but I'd almost bet you haven't realized yet I've gone I hope you're getting by For so long now the lights were on But there's been nobody home You'd only call my name When you noticed something wrong But I'd almost bet You haven't realized yet I've gone <laughs> For so long now the lights were on But there's been nobody home You'd only call my name When you noticed something wrong But I'd almost bet You haven't realized yet I've gone My heart left long ago And one day you'll know I've Thank you, boys. Oh, oh we're whipping out the little channel, though. Oh, whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, I'm tuning the whole way. The Wazimatez. What's wrong with this thing? Wazimatez. Uh, all I know. Hey, Moo Moo. All I know. Come in, please. Yeah. So, uh, many, many years ago, Stewie and I uh, recorded an album of a bunch of our favourite covers, and we called the album Recovered. And I still have it. <laughs> And uh, we thought tonight we'd bring out one of those songs that we recorded way back then. And as we do, we thought we'd rearrange it to make it exciting. Oh, the sign. Can you just grab that and put it down here? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, you're right there. Enjoy your trip there, Mumu. Enjoy um, it. Yeah, so Recovered must have been before kids. Oh no, Chet was born. I think when yeah, we did well, that. It's just down here, it's fine. Not yet. Thank you. So, anyway. It's a Kiwi Palmer. Oh, what? I'm, just, I'm just trying to catch messages. We just, every now and then we can, uh, we can read one. And I'm just trying to, there's all these questions, and I'm trying to think. Oh, original. Yes, that was an original, the last song. That was one of the questions. Yeah, I know. All right. Let's do All I Ever Need Is You. One, two, I want, two, three, four. So 
Sometimes when I'm down and all alone I feel just like a child without a home The love you give me keeps me hanging on Honey, all I ever need is you, Stu You're my first love, you're my last You're my future, you're my past and loving you is all I ask, honey All I ever need is you Winters come and then they go And we watch the melting snow And sure as summer follows spring All the things you do Gives me a reason to build Follow rainbows, I am told Some men search for silver, some for gold But I found my treasures in your soul Honey, all I ever need is you Messages about feedback, echoey about my mic, maybe. Oh, the game yeah. oh, now your mic. There's a few um, mixes in the. Someone told me the echo sounded beautiful. I so know. what do you believe? You're always going to get that if you ask. You get a thousand responses. Someone said something about something in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Must have been that steak you had. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sh hey, um, it's Father's Day. Back yeah. in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. Happy Father's Day to you. Yeah, it's not here, so. Well, it thanks. should be. Should be, shouldn't Yeah, it? you just want two. You get two, Dad. Yeah. Well, he didn't. What's wrong with that? What'd you get him today? Don't I deserve two? Of course you do, Stewie. <laughs> you said birthday, so. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Stewie yeah. had his birthday a couple of weeks ago. Don't want birthdays, I just want Father's Day. <laughs> Oh, Clearly, your Adams' birthday. birthday too, while we think of it. Hey, happy birthday, Clell. Oh, there you go, Mo. You can hold it. Yeah, I'm not go. sure whether it's today or Take yesterday, time. but I hope you had a good one. Move. You, you have go. to say it. Go up to the mic and do it. <laughs> you know what to say? We have a new no. PayPal no. ambassador. There you go. What do I say? Well, what you know what to say. It's the, it's the virtual... You've got it 38 times. Tip jar. There you go. So... So what, if people like what they're hearing, they can send a what's my, tip. What's my, catch, what's my catchphrase? <laughs> what? Share the love. Yeah. Here you go, that's what brother Share says. the love. Okay, here, you can check it out there. No, but it's Thank on, you, Dan. It's in the description, right? It is. It's on the mic. Yeah, yeah. It's in the description. There's a link, I think. Link, I think. 
Yeah, there's PayPal and Venmo. And uh, yeah, feel free to drop a tip in there. Um, that's how we make our living over here in America. It's a new way for us, although we've been here three and a half years now, so it's kind of normal. It's the norm. Um, can you believe we've been here three and a half years? Or? But guess what? Crazy. We're going home soon for a week, aren't we? I know. Did you see the post? We're coming home. Very, oh, very brief. <laughs> yep. I wish we could stay longer, but it's only like seven days. It's hardly be. worth getting off the plane. We'll just come I'm home. not going to sleep the whole time. I'm just going to be hanging out. I know. And of course, we've got a couple of gigs locked in. If you haven't heard already, we are doing a show um, in Wynyard, Tasmania, little Wynyard, where Stewie is from. Um, we're going to visit family, so we tagged a gig on, and the first one sold out. And like, yeah, I know it's kind of missing. Off. There's carpet in the wall. Yeah, I've got to find. That's Tassie down we've got there. To get a little Tassie made. We've got to get a New Zealand made for over here. Yes. What? A hole in the. Yeah. So anyway, the the Wynyard show sold out in two hours, and so um, we've decided to add a second show. I think it's the 25th of November, and it's um, we're going to do a matinee show that that day. Um, you can find information on Facebook or on our website. And then we're also doing a show in Sydney um, at the Canterbury Hillstone Park RSL. Uh, that's on Sunday the 27th. I think there's only like 80 tickets left. So if you're thinking about it, get on there and book your ticket because it will probably sell out. Yeah, it'll sell out. It's a, it's a 90 seat room and there's only 80 seats left. <laughs> so make sure. Oh, you're a funny guy. So funny, Stewie. So anyway, yeah, if you want to come to um, a show while we're in Australia, we would love to see you. Um, we're going to have Jeff Simpson on bass guitar for our show in Tassie, and um, we're going to have Jeff and Glenn Wilson on drums, so we can't wait. And Duncan Toombs is going to come along and open the show in Canterbury for us. He's got a brand new album out, Duncan has. Yeah. I don't know if it'll be out, but he's got a couple of singles out. Yeah, yeah go check Maybe. it out. By then, who knows? Come on. Uncle Dunk. He might be too big a star to come and sing with us by then. <laughs> All could, right. And you never know, there could be a Froomson's reunion. Oh, wow. Uh, Here she is. The little bell of the ball. Pull it Just pull the whole okay. thing down. Just the whole thing. Pull it. Like that. See your face. Okay. Well, a few weeks back we lost... Uh, an Australian icon, Judith Durham, from the Seekers. Um, as a kid growing up, the Seekers was a huge part of our music repertoire at home. Every week we'd hear the Seekers along with Slim Dusty, Johnny Cash, and uh, all those great artists, but the Seekers, man, what great songs, great singers. So we lost Judith and we're going to do a little tribute tonight for the Seekers. Olivia Newton John oh, went a few days later. We better do one of her songs next time. Mum? Yeah. All right. Ready for it? Okay. In A, aren't we? Yeah, two bars. One, two, three, four. Train whistle blowing Makes a sleepy
Good job, Mary. Thank you. Woo! Great yeah. job, Mary. Hey, David, have um, yeah. you guys heard of the Seekers over here? Were they, like, uh, known here? No, it's not familiar with because they were huge, like right at the end of the 60s or mid 60s, right through. And they split up in the early 70s and then they came back again, probably 25 years later. And, um, yeah, iconic Australian band. Oh, All right. What's your voice? What are we doing? A tune? Yeah. Dixie. Dixie. All right, a few, few months ago, Sonny started to learn a few of these thumb pick sort of style guitar tunes, and so we thought. Why not chuck one in? This one's one Tommy Emmanuel wrote, the legendary Aussie. Tommy Emmanuel wrote this song and he and Chet Atkins recorded it. And it's such a beautiful tune, it's called Dixie Maguire. I think the first time I ever heard it, Chris Hager was playing it on acoustic guitar. And he sort of showed me how it went. Watch your lead there, don't tread on. Um, so anyway, we're gonna try and reproduce Chet and Tommy's version without the key change, of course. You right there, Ferg? Got a little bit of level on your guitar? All right. Just a little chat. All right. So we've only got one little turnaround after that first verse. Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
good. Well done, Dave. Dave. Well done. He killed it. So good. Just throw a chart at this guy I and he know. can play it. He's the bomb. The bomb.com. Oh. Alright. And a bad chart at that too, probably. <laughs> Don't just say D on it. Great joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a key chart. Notice he had his GPS out to follow it. Hey. What? I lost my pack. What's new? Oh my god. <laughs> You're never going to find it on this carpet. I'm sorry, Mum. Oh. No, I'm Here you go. He's the thing. last one in captivity. Thank you. Hey. Honestly. Thank you. Oh. We'll just empty the vacuum cleaner out. I've lost out. like four today. Oh, the vacuum <laughs> Standing here and then I disappear. And then it disappears. I don't know. Going on. All right. Okay. I think. Should yeah. I play acoustic? Maybe you yeah, want, Alan. Yeah. Right. You're gonna put a capo on it, though. Let it play a fucking. Oh, you gotta, you gotta change keys, don't you? Oh. Yeah. This is a uh, George Jones song, and I'd always heard it, and then I really thought about the lyrics the other day, and I was like, wow, that is very sad. Like it's a real sad song, but I love it, and I think it's. Uh, uh, one of George Jones's real um, plug it. essential, you know, one of his big songs in his career. I think it's really cool, and it's called the Grand Tour. Keep talking. I'm trying to change guitars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> George Jones. While you're doing that, I'll just mention a couple of gigs coming up. If you're in Nashville. Next week, we're playing at the Station Inn, um, next Wednesday, the 7th, um, and then the 12th of September, it's a Monday, we're playing at the 3rd in Lindsley, um, and we've got Charlie McCoy joining us that night. It's usually the Time Jumpers gig, but they've got um, another gig on that night, so we're kind of filling in for them, kind of, but we're pretty stoked. Yes, the, uh, very fortunate. That op like opportunity to play there. Um, and then the 20th, we're back at the uh, Bavarian Beer House. So if you're in Nashville... You got yourself a little knot in your little... Kind of cool, though. <laughs> That's <laughs> how I run off <laughs> um, And then I just need to mention in November, we're at the 19th of November, we're at the Ohio Valley Opry in McConnellsville on uh, Saturday the 19th. And then the 20th, we're in Convoy, Ohio. So... Uh, if you're anywhere near there, please come and see us. Check um, our website, thefrenchfamilyband.com, for more info. And I want to mention, too, a couple of good old buddies of mine um, had birthdays. Bob Blacklow, who I worked with for years down in Tassie, <laughs> he just had a big one, and so did um, Kenny Kitchen. Oh, Kenny, Kenny turned 90. Yeah. One of Australia's great steel guitar players, played on... On, on everything back in the 60s and 70s um, and 80s. So anyway, I saw photos and I just wish we could have been there. But anyway, yeah. anyway, we're going to do this right. grand tour. This is for you, Kenny. Starts in G sharp. Starts in G sharp. Is that this one? No, it's not this one. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. All right. Step right up. Come on in. If you'd like to take the grand tour of the lonely house that once was home, sweet home, I have nothing here to sell you, just some things that I will tell you, some things. I know will chew you to the bone Over there sits the chair Where she'd bring the paper to me And sit down on my knee And whisper, oh I love you But now she's gone forever And this old house will never be the same 
Without the love that we once knew Straight ahead That's the bed Where we'd lay in love together Lord knows we had a good thing go See her picture on the table Don't it look like she'd be able Just to touch me and say Good morning dear There's a ring, all her things And her clothes are in it like she left them when she tore my world apart as you leave you see the nursery oh she left me without mercy taking nothing but our baby and my Step right up, come on in <laughs> Step right up. Good Did job, you? Dylan. Well, Sonny. That's a big song. Yeah. Good singing, Dylan. Yeah. Finally felt warm enough to do it, like warmed up to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard song to sing, especially when you're singing it at like 8 o'clock in the morning. It doesn't always sound as sweet as that, does it? <laughs> no. That's what I find anyway. Yeah. All right. Hey, Stewie. Smile, No. Saggy. Oh, it's me. It's hey, Lou. Saggy. Manaya. Now we're gonna play. I need my backup vocals on this to help me. Mumu. I need every bit of help I can get, folks. Saggy Mitch. We're playing Saggy Mitch. This song's called Saginaw, Michigan. And when I said, Daddy, are we doing Saggy Old Michigan? I said, That's not what it's called. She's on that mic. Oh, okay. You got brothers. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Jump for it. Okay. You didn't give me the words for this, did you? I'll no, right. you know what? I'll be right. You'll help me, Dave, if I get stuck. I know something. <laughs> this is a song by the great Lefty Frizzell, and it was one of his last big hits, I think, back in 1964 or something like that. It's called Saginaw, Michigan. Okay, everyone. Um, C. Oh, C. You got it over there, Grady? One, two, three, four, one. I was born in Saginaw, Michigan. I grew up in a house in Saginaw Bay. And my dad was a poor, hard-working Saginaw fisherman. Too many times he come home with too little pay. Well, I loved a girl, I loved a girl in Saginaw, Michigan. Saginaw, Michigan. The daughter of a wealthy, wealthy man. And he called me that son of a Saginaw fisherman. Not good enough. To take his daughter's hand So I'm up here in Alaska Digging around for gold Like a crazy fool I'm digging in the frozen ground so cold But I pray someday That I will strike it rich And then I can go back home and claim my love in Saginaw, Michigan. Saginaw, Michigan. 
Well, I wrote my love in Saginaw, Michigan. I said, honey, I'm a coming home. Please wait for me. And you can tell your dad that I'm coming home a richer man. Cause I've hit the biggest strike in Klondike history. Well, her dad met me in Saginaw, Michigan. He threw me a great big party with champagne And he said, son, well, you're a wise and young, ambitious man Oh, would you sell your father in law your Klondike claim? Now he's up there in Alaska, digging in the cold, cold ground the greedy fool is looking for the gold I never found. It serves him right, for no one here is missing him. And least of all, the newlyweds in Saginaw, Michigan. Saginaw, Michigan. Yeah, we're the happiest man and wife in Saginaw, Michigan. Thank you, girls. Good job. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're going to hire you as a backup singer now. Okay, mate. You've done it. All right. It's your turn, darling. I'm going to sit down and play this one. Oh. <coughs> Smile. Oh. This, again, for anyone who didn't see, we got the virtual tip jaw. PayPal.me slash Cam and Stew or Venmo at Camille French, the French family. But yeah, there should be a link in the description. So if you want to share the love and give us a tip, go ahead. I don't think these letters have moved or this writing in three like three years. Hey, or just sharing this. Oh yeah, share it. Yeah, or sharing the video helps us a lot. But yeah, there should be a link in the description. You put it in over my beautiful intro now, I forget what I was going to play, right? <laughs>
Thank you. So Mania's gone from listening to Ariana Grande in a car to Michael Bublé, and that's where that song came from. It's a bit of a shock when you're driving along, and that's what you hear. I know you love Ariana. More, she said. But you like Michael More. Bublé too. <laughs> and you like Merle Haggard because I hear you walking around the house singing his songs. <laughs> Even though you don't know that. <laughs> All right. You ready, Faye? Uh huh. What have we got? Um, oh. Love. Book. I'll just start B flat. B flat book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Hey, grab. Sonny. Hey, the Frankenstein. Yeah. Where is it? It probably hasn't got a strap on it though. Um, I'll just put the Gibson strap on it. Oh. Sonny's got this beautiful Telecaster Greg Franks made him. I called it the Frankenstein because I changed the pickup in it. But it's too good a guitar to be called that. Yeah. Oh, it's a beast of a guitar. It's what Don Rich played, a sparkle Telecaster. So look out. Greg Franks, where's he? He's, uh... So Greg lives on the central coast, New South Wales, and he builds these guitars, and they're beautiful. We've got some great guitar builders down there. Al Tompkins has been building Telecasters and Stratocasters and basses for years as well. And yeah. you see quite a few of them getting around over here. And Dale Watson recently lost his. It got stolen, so I hope, I hope it turned up. I hope you got it back. You right there, Fu? Today would be good. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> okay. Boom. Now you're tuning, how's that? Yeah, I just love to like And we're also using these Minson pedals. Laurie Minson out of Tamworth makes these, um, I don't know if you can hold that up. That I one. think we can. Makes these little effects pedals that oh, it's all I use. And Sonny's just started using his tonight. Because he loves all the effects in it. It's got reverb and all the things that you need. That's all. I'm pretty basic, but anyway, Laurie's been great to us. and He sent me a few of these over. and They've graced Broadway a few times, haven't they, David? You probably go, take that thing home, it's too loud. <laughs> um, I think I read uh, a question asking if we're taking our guitars over to Australia. The answer is no. Why not? No. We've got to bring stuff back from Australia. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Food and stuff. We've stuff. got so much stuff that we left in Australia. Cans of yeah. Lots of Vegemite, yes. You want one? Chocolate want bullets. One? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring back a suitcase full of chocolate bullets. I hope the temperature on the plane's it's cold. favourite. Daryl Lee chocolate bullets. Last chocolate bullets I got are just one big blob of licorice. <laughs> They're still good though. All right. Oh, the sun's gonna shine in my life once more Love's gonna live here again Things are gonna be the way they were before Love's gonna live here again Love's gonna live here Love's gonna live here Love's gonna live here again Only happiness Love's gonna live here again All right, son. Well, love's gonna live here 
Love's gonna live here Love's gonna live here again No more loneliness Only happiness Love's gonna live here again All right, David! Work there, Good Dave. Nice work. Lots of comments about your bass. I just saw someone said, "Bring him to Australia. You'll have to come to Aussie with us sometime." Show him the back of it. Have you been to Aussie? I never have. Never have. Why not? You've toured with some amazing acts. Have they not been to? Uh... Yeah, I'm just waiting for that free ticket. <laughs> right. I know the feeling. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Aussie. All right. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. All right. I think the Hendons were on. Yeah, I saw Miss Kathy. So Kathy, we took down the Nashville sign just to put this Aussie one up because our good friend Dave Rush. Dave Rush made us this one up there, and we thought, where are we going to put it? And it looked a bit messy with two up there, so we've got to work out where we're going to put the Nashville <laughs> sign. Yeah, looks good though, doesn't it? It's going to put some lights behind it. Snazzy. Get a map of Tassie. The old map of Tassie and uh, New Zealand. It's made of rocket metal. It is, eh? Uh -huh. said. If you don't want to drop it on your toe, folks, it'd be all over. You'd be calling the tow truck real quick. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going to do a song now. It's one I've been... Uh -oh. The Sohas! It's like... Oh, I've been working on it and it's... It's like Roy Buchanan. Oh, kind of like his style. And uh, yeah, I really like it. It's called Sweet Dreams. But yeah, I actually like rearranged. I'm like, it's, I modified my guitar just so I could like play this <laughs> song pretty much. See, this like down there, this volume knob used to be there and the switch used to be there. But so I can reach it when I play, I put it there. So you have to take the top off it and rewire it and stuff. So. And I did the same. I turned this around so I can get the old. Uh, But yeah, I, I like it because it's like, yeah, no, I've never seen many, like any Gibsons that have that there, so it's kind of cool. I thought I'd put my own little spin on my guitar. David will tell you at the end of this, if he's got any ears left, he'll let you know what he thinks. <laughs> Won't you, Dave? Yeah. All right. All right. G. Thank you. 
Shani, everyone. Good job. Well done. Bro. I wanted to take, I also wanted to mention that um, this little amp I'm using back here, this little Fender Princeton Reverb I got for my birthday last week. Yes. Turned up in the I mail. I didn't buy it for him, though. <laughs> Doug Vickers, you're a legend, and I love yeah, this. This Doug. is my favourite amp I've got now. He sent, us, he sent us three or four amps, and this is it. Don't need any more. I mean, I do need more. I but don't. Sorry. And what, two beautiful guitars. And guitars, two fantastic guitars. So, Doug, you're a legend. Sent us a violin the other day from an idol and... Not sure what's going to happen there, but um, well, we left most of our guitars back in Australia, didn't we? I think we came over with about three, was it? Yeah, we sold 20 to get here. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> no. I think I am on electric. Yeah, we did sell a few to, to come here, so anyway, what have we got? The collection is growing again. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple more songs for you. Um, for those of you that have just tuned in, our Big news about Australia is that we're coming back in November. So we've got two shows, one in Wynyard uh, on the 25th, 25th, Friday the 25th of November, a, uh, a matinee show. Because the evening show sold out, so we're doing a matinee show. Um, tickets will be available uh, very shortly, today or tomorrow maybe. And uh, our Sydney show is at Canterbury Hillstone Park RSL um, tickets. You'll see, if you scroll through our Facebook page, you'll see um, info about it. But I think there's only about 80 tickets left, so get in quick. It's an 85-seat room, so there's not going to be a lot of room in there, folks. Um, <laughs> Funny guy. Um, we want to send out a big shout to Gina Timms, too, back in Tassie, for helping us organise our shows down there, because yes. from here it's hard to do anything, you know, and... And I just rang Gina out of the blue to see where she reckoned we could do a show. And there you go. She just went and organised it all. Yeah. So thank you, Gina. You're yeah, a legend. Thank you, Gina. Yeah. And, thank um, you. All can't right. wait to see you. Okay. All, right. all right. Here's the big test, I guess. <laughs> this is a uh, Glen Campbell tune that I love. Um, actually heard it. We went to the Third and Lindsley the other day and we saw this dude doing it. Do you remember? Mm. I know. We saw a tribute right. to Glenn Campbell. He, was, a, was, a he great was an absolute beast. Yeah. Great oh. show. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's Country Boy. And yeah, there's a lot of Country Boy songs. Not the Ricky Skaggs, Dave, right. so don't yeah. worry. Calm down. Relax. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> it? All right. Boom, boom. <laughs> Is it or is it? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. A one, two, three, four. Living in the city ain't never been my idea of getting it on. But the job demands that you make new plans Before your big chance is gone You get a house in the hills You're paying everyone's bills And they tell you that you're gonna go far But in the back of my mind I hear it time after time Is that who you really are? Country boy you got your feet in L.A., but your mind's on Tennessee Looking back, I can't remember the time When I sang my songs for free A country boy, you got your feet in L.A. Take a look at everything you want But now and then my heart keeps going home Talking on the telephone, setting up another day of people to me. You gotta do what's right, you gotta spend the night staying in touch with the street. When you're surrounded by friends, they say the fun never ends, but I guess I'll never figure it out. 
But in the back of my mind I hear it time after time Is this what it's all about? A country boy You got your feet in LA But your mind's on Tennessee Looking back I can remember the time That I sang my songs for free A country boy You got your feet in LA Take a look at everything you own But now and then my heart keeps going home A country boy You got your feet in LA But your mind's on Tennessee Looking back I can remember the time When I sang my songs for free A country boy You got your feet in LA Take a look at everything you own But now and then my heart keeps going home Thank you. Good job. Yeah. Sorry about Dan, Sonny. Michael. I jumped in early on you. <laughs> so good. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, joining us tonight or today, this afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Some of you, it's probably, uh, if you're in the UK and watching, it's like 2 a.m., I think. And uh, I know there are some crazies that get up. They set their alarm to get up, so we thank you so much. Um, and don't forget, you can share this um, live stream. That really helps us. And uh, as Sunny and Manaya mentioned earlier, we've got our virtual uh, tip jar. And uh, hopefully the link is in the description. Uh, PayPal, Venmo, you can send a tip through, and uh, we'd appreciate that too. That would be wonderful. Um, I don't know when we're doing another live stream, but as usual, we will keep you posted and let you know. As I said earlier, it's kind of tricky finding a free Saturday night here. And uh, a lot of work goes into these throughout the week. We practice uh, every night to pull together a set for you all. And uh, yeah, so it's just trying to find the time to make it happen. Last run, a little tip jar. Yeah, I just did. I just oh. Did. So. <laughs> You're like your father. <laughs> I was daydreaming. Hey, wow. David, thank you so much again for Woo! joining yeah, us. Man. Hasn't he done a wonderful job? We're so lucky to have you. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Can you bring your wife next time, please? Yeah, she was busy cleaning her, their house. Or, you know, when you get on these little cleaning things binge, I know yeah a binge yeah she was doing one of those but we would love to have her here as well don't forget Wendy Newcomer look her up she's a beautiful beautiful singer and a lovely lady too all right we're going to go out on uh, a song that uh, I know a lot of New Zealanders will know this one because we grew up with Prince Tuiteka and uh, this was a song that he made famous and uh, I wanted to sing it this th tonight because um, in a couple of days' time, it's going to be five years since my mum passed away. Um, and, yeah, we, uh, we all miss her dearly and can't believe it's been five years hey, since she passed away. Back there in Gisborne, New Zealand, my mum was Pele, Pele Tanahu. And uh, so this song is just kind of in memory of her. And so uh, we wanted to sing it. Tonight for you. Right. Oh, Mum, I love you. Yes, I do. Please wait for me, Mum. I'll be home very soon I never knew just how much you meant to me till now you're so many miles away across
across the sea and only God knows where or when we'll meet again to hold you in my arms once more to Just how much you meant to me till now. You're so many miles away across the sea, and only God knows where or when we'll meet again. FrenchFamilyBand.com. We've got t shirts and CDs and lots of stuff you all desperately need. Thank you. Not many days left till Christmas.